We've landed somewhere in India on our way to the other place we're going in India. We've been really lucky. We've been two flights lay down on both of them. That's what works. I'm really tired, guys. I, I, I need to sleep somewhere. Here we are in Kwahati and we are looking for our driver who's going to drive us to Shillong. These are tuk-tuks and these are the, the transport that we're going to be driving across India on. Look at those guys. Crazy. Never driven one before. Hello mate. This is insane. <laughs> <laughs> we just walked out the airport, saw some tuk tucks and the goat, and then we saw a fight. What are your first impressions, Jack? Well, these are what we're going to be driving for the next three weeks, and just seeing them in person has actually made me feel really scared. Like, I've been imagining this trip for months, but looking at them now and thinking I'm going to sit in that for the next three weeks is a terrifying thought. So we've got two separate little uh, minivans to the next destination, Shalom. Here we come. Hey, look at this guy. Hey, man. So I found a nice cold refreshment. I think we're getting back on the ride. I was just, oh, yeah. I was just sleeping and I got woken up by a massive bang. And I think the lorry in front of us, the tyre just blew out casually. That's not a mini heart attack. <laughs> We've stopped off on route for a little lunch, I think. Or oh, it's actually breakfast, I don't really know. I'm confused. Back on the road. Sleep, and somehow, I think our tyres blown up. Tyres just blown up everywhere in India. Basically, we've got a flat tyre, and uh, this poor fella's got to fix it. So, we'll be here for a couple of minutes and then we'll be off again. I've got a feeling this could be a regular occurrence on our, on our trip. I think there's going to be a lot of blown tyres and little breakdowns like this. Probably need to get used to it. We've arrived, finally. I feel like we've been driving for like days. How do you feel, Jack? Days and confused. <laughs> Just a uh, standard hotel check in. We have to fill in a long questionnaire. Jack, what's happened, man? I have lost my Canon 5D. I think maybe I left it in the cab. Did we check it? Do you want to run down? I don't think I saw it. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I saw it on the roof of the car. Okay, we might be wrong, but we think Jack left his camera on top of the car, the taxi, when we like brought all our bags in. Well, no 
no luck, we cannot find it. Okay, check this out, right? So this was earlier, Louis was filming. This is a taxi we got out of. Yeah, no, you just scroll forward. I leave the taxi. Luckily I was filming. And then look, if you look behind Louis' head, I'm right about here. That's my camera there on the roof. Look guys, it was on the top of the car when he parked it. Right, watch this, watch this guy. Move, move, move. He was holding it. So after doing the CCTV, there was this guy wearing a yellow t-shirt who looked so shifty. And then you just see him walk to the car and then just come out holding my camera. And it looks like he put it in his car. So now we're going to find if his car's still here, or if he's driven away, and if he's still here. It's crazy. I feel like a proper detective. We're like scanning through the footage. We're going to try and get his number plate or something, I don't know. Maybe we need to report it to the police. Um, my 5D was stolen. What? Top of the taxi. What, here? Yeah. Literally, you can see the guy walking away with his 5D. What are your thoughts, Finn? That's bad. Guys, look at our hotel room. This is awesome. Thanks so much. Thank you very much. Look at that. Look at the view. <laughs> and we got our own beds. We don't have to um, me, share a bed. <laughs> me and Louis won't be sharing. We thought we'd be in a double bed together, but we're not. Oh, I just had a little nap. Oh, it's nice catching up with a bit of sleep. <laughs> I spoke to reception, apparently he's bringing it back. Apparently it was a tourist taxi, they called him up, they knew who it was, and he's bringing it back. That's no that's way. Insane. No way. This is the weirdest sort of event. This is the camera that I left on the car. So weird, right? So, it wasn't the thief that returned it, it was like his friend just came in, didn't say anything, just handed it to me. All the spoke out, all the way. That was it. And you were just like... My camera was stolen, stolen in India, and it was returned. It's a miracle. Wait, high five, man. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. We're now catching taxis to register for the Rickishaw run. This taxi is tiny. Look. <laughs> Yeah. This is this is <laughs> Namita. She's gonna be helping us out, showing us around and basically saving us in all the times we're gonna need saving. I don't promise anything but I'm gonna <laughs> try my best. <laughs> I'm really excited. Another hectic taxi ride in the bank. We're getting better at these. <laughs> I really hope there's more headroom in the tuk tuks. That's all I'm saying. This is sick. I'm so excited. Really excited. This is the first time we've gotten to see the Tuk Tuks that we're spending the next three weeks in, and they're looking good. We are now heading back to the hotel oh, in be crazy, so traffic. Here, crazy traffic. Crazy traffic. We're back in the hotel, we're gonna freshen up, sort some bits out, and then go for some dinner. It's 
the end of the night. We're all heading to our rooms and we'll catch you guys tomorrow. Peace out, enjoy life, and we'll do a bit Boom.